take your hand of the bow arm and imagine that you are holding an apple. You have good apple. Do you like them green or red? Red. Red apple, okay. Now, gently throw the apple on the floor. <laughs> good. And just look at your hand, just relax it like a jellyfish. Okay, now the hand is straight down. And if you can see, your thumb and first finger are naturally parallel to each other. Yeah? However, when we play cello, we're pronating your, our hands towards the string, towards the stick. Yeah? When you do that, now look at your thumb naturally, it's either in between one and two, or it's parallel to two. So there's a more connection now to the second finger. Yeah? So when we play cello, when we're just humanly dropping the hand, it's first. But when we play cello and pronate, it goes towards the second. So I want you now to connect the second finger and thumb and to feel that it creates a ring. Yeah? We call it the ring connection. Okay, very good. Now, turn it around and look at this circle. Good. When we play cello, we can't hold it right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the thumb under the first joint, under. Good. Now that's gonna be the cello ring. Okay, second finger and thumb under the first joint. Now, turn it and pronate. Good. Relax the other finger, the first and the pinky mainly. That connection is something we need to work on. Now take your bow and put it on the D string in the middle. Don't, don't hold it in. Hold it with the left hand. Hold it with the left hand. With the left hand. Good. Good. Now, do the same thing. Hold the apple. Drop it. Feel the connection to the first finger. Now, pronate your hand and find that ring connection. Just hold the ring. Put the second finger around the silver part. You put it much, much to get a little bit towards the silver part. You see that silver part of the bow? I know you. I know you can put the thumb there. That's good. But not. Yeah. You're doing this. So your thumb is below the second. I want them to be more connected. Good. Good. Now, before we actually play, do this again, and let's hold the bow. This is something I learned from. Uh, Kalinowski, a friend of mine, violin teacher, Gregory Kalinowski, is a wonderful teacher, and this is a great exercise. So hold the bow towards the tip, so there's not much to hold, and hold it only with the ring. So thumb is around the um, first joint of the second finger. And now do a little grandpa. So move the bow, just click it. While you find that motion, Relax the first pinky. So you see yours are like you. No, 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 relax. Yes, but keep the movement. Not with the first and pinky. Very good. You feel the relaxation? Yeah. Excellent. Now try to imagine you're holding that red apple in your hand while the bow is ticking. See, that's relaxed. Wonderful. Now, put it towards the middle of the bow. and find that connection again under the first joint of the second finger. Relax one and pinky, feel the red apple, and do the grand pump. Grand pump, you're tap, 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 tap. Good, how does it feel? Now do a little bit of circles. Now stop it, do the circle the other way. Everything initiated by the thumb and the second finger. Good, stop. Now do a little bit of up and down with the bow, which you initiate again with thumb and two. Just thumb and two, nothing else touches. Good. I want you to do this exercise all the time. You can hold a pencil in classos. Yeah. Now, we're gonna go to the actual area of the bow. And here, because cello bow, not like violin, is very heavy, it's hard. I, Try to hold it just with the thumb and two with a ring. Do it once. Good. Now it's going to be hard to relax one and pinky. It's possible. If you practice hard, it's possible. However, it will be easier to add the triangle finger, the pinky. Okay? If 
you add the pinky to the game, you can actually hold now the bow with a, with a triangle hold, I call it. The ring plus the pinky. And now let's try to do the grandpa clock, initiating from the thumb and pinky. So it's like you're playing a ping pong of the weight of the bow between pinky and thumb. Pinky, thumb. Thumb hit the bow, then the pinky brings it back. Yeah, and now you see your first finger is really tight. I want you to have a completely relaxed hold of it, as if you're holding the red apple. Remember the red apple? Imagine the apple. Now, do the clock. Good. Your, your first finger is still tight, because you're not really involving the pinky. Excellent. Now, do a little bit of up and down. See, it's hard for you to do it. Now there's a lot of weight. That's what you have to concentrate on. Work. A lot of cherries are playing. Yeah, it's a, a visual expression. Yeah, it's not audible expression because she says no sound. Yeah. So we want to get the ring so we can get we can get the sound even in piano if you play we play pianissimo. So I can feel each note through the ring and pinky and I drone it towards the first. Absolutely. Play. That's it. We got it. We got it. <laughs>